This episode is sponsored by Audible. So we're gonna be able to rip apart this can with just electromagnets? That is correct. Um, why? Um, for science. I'm here today with Joe Hansen, and we're here with Architac. Uh, so wait, wait. How, how fast does this happen? How does this work? What, what is this? This is a can crushing machine in which we will use a magnetic field to sear this aluminum can in half and send it off in two directions. Can we rip some cans apart? We absolutely can. Um, wait, so why do you have this? So, you know, we do educational shows for kids, and this machine is just an extreme way that we can demonstrate how electromagnets work. We should have mentioned, Architac is a performance group. And a pretty awesome band. If you've never heard of Architac, you're missing out. They play singing Tesla coils. The bolts of lightning are the instrument, but the members of the group are also a bunch of engineers who like to make cool things, like this device. So this isn't like a trick. There's nothing that's like chopping the can in half. No, so the can is actually tearing itself apart. So do you explain that to the kids in your shows? Well, yeah, it's a science show, not a magic show. So how does this device work? We want the overview. Okay, so we have a coil of wire right here and we put the aluminum can inside the coil of wire and then we put an electric current in into this coil of wire, which creates a magnetic field. This is one of those weird properties of electromagnetism. An electric current, that is flowing charges, always creates a magnetic field. Which direction is that magnetic field pointing? Okay, we talked about this earlier. I'm it's testing the, you. It's the right hand rule. So if the current's going this way, then we get a magnetic field, just like my fingers all the way around that coil, right? Very good. Yes. So it's like a toroidal shape, like a donut. Mm. I can understand donuts. That donut-shaped magnetic field is getting stronger. It's changing as the current increases. And another weird property of electromagnetism is that changing magnetic fields near a conductor can induce currents. We can see that here with another cool demo Architac has, where you drop a magnet through some coils of wire attached to LED lights. The LEDs light up because the magnetic field going through induces a current. No batteries required. But those currents also have their own magnetic field. So we induce a current in the can with the first magnetic field, but that current induces a second magnetic field, and it's facing the same way as the first. Which means you have two very strong magnets with like poles which want to get away from each other. But the can has nowhere else to go but inward. So the magnetic field actually sears the can in half and sends it off in two different directions. That's right. what makes the boom boom happen. That's the what boom makes boom the thing. boom boom. That was awesome. There's a lot you can do with induction now, and you guys are engineering geniuses, so I think you must have something else up your sleeve. We can use an electromagnet to launch this aluminum ring into the air. This demo takes aluminum, which doesn't normally feel any push or pull from a magnet, and turns it into an electromagnet by inducing a current in the aluminum ring. With another electromagnet below pushing it with a lot of force, we should see it fly up in the air. Something tells me we're gonna need these. Uh... <laughs> Goggle up. Three, two, one, and... Whoa! Whoa that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> okay, all pretty cool, but I feel like you're holding out on me because Joe told me last time he was here, he left with a shrunken quarter. You weren't supposed to say anything. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what, follow me. All right. Cat's out of the bag. So basically, we have a quarter that's wedged between two pieces of one-inch dowel. It's got some wire wrapped around it, and it's hooked up to these electrodes and we're gonna put the steel blast chamber on it, and then we're gonna put the pin through there, and then we're gonna take the wooden chamber, and this- This is serious business. Yeah, this one is uh, a lot more energy than what we did with the can. And then we're gonna stand behind Diana. <laughs> <laughs> we got this set to 80%, and then we push this button. Should they be ready for the, for the bang, or will we know something's gonna happen? Is there gonna I'll be a bang? I'll tell you. There's gonna be a bang. There's gonna be a bang? There's going to be a bang. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's ready. Oh, okay. it's ready. You guys ready for this? Everybody good? Whoa! <laughs> that 
that was a huge explosion. That was a huge explosion. So, so it exploded like that. I saw sparks underneath that steel chamber. Underneath his wooden box. Yep. And what happened in here? Um, well, we're about to find out. So first, let's unplug the thing so it doesn't accidentally turn on, because this is the kind of shock that it would only happen to you once in your life. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, that is real smoke. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a metallic smell. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really, mm. Oh, whoa. Are you sure there's still a quarter in there? Yeah, we just gotta poke around and find oh, it. Oh gosh. Oh, there he is. Ouch. Ouch. Is that a little hot? <laughs> oh my, look at that thing. And that is how you shrink a head. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Whew. That was awesome. That was an incredible set of physics demos, and we haven't even gotten to the Tesla coils, but you can check those out in all of their glory over on Joe's channel, It's Okay to Be Smart. We're gonna figure out how those things can make music. It's gonna be awesome. So check out that video. The link is in the description. And thank you so much to Architect for having us here. They're amazing. You can check them out on Facebook. And last but not least, Happy physicsing! This episode of Physics Girl is supported by Audible.com. Right now, Audible is offering viewers a 30-day trial period. Check out audible.com slash physicsgirl to get a membership trial and access their audio programs and titles. Reading is fun. I've been reading Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling in Spanish to practice my Espanol, but Harry Potter is a classic in English too. So go to audible.com slash physicsgirl and make sure to use that link to help us out and get a membership trial. And last but not least, a million thanks to Darren who helped us out with those incredible high-speed shots of the can exploding. Check out his YouTube channel. It's called Beyond Slow Motion. The link is in the description.